A bezoar is a solid mass of indigestible material that accumulates in the digestive tract of both humans and animals. They are most common in the stomach, however they can occur anywhere along the gastrointestinal tract. Bezoars can cause gastric ulcers, intestinal bleeding and obstruction, leading to tissue death in a portion of the digestive tract. Small bezoars may pass through the digestive tract on their own, or after you take medication to help dissolve the mass. However, severe cases often require surgery. Bezoars are classified according to the material that forms them. Phytobezoars are the most common type, and are composed of indigestible food fibers, usually in patients with impaired digestion. Trichobezoars are composed of hair or hair-like fibers, such as carpet or clothing. It is most commonly formed from eating hair, which may occur in people who have psychiatric illnesses or mental disabilities. Pharmacobezoars are composed of medications that don't properly dissolve in the digestive tract, often found following overdose. And finally, lactobezoars are comprised of inspissated milk. It is most commonly seen in premature infants that feed on formula. Bezoars occur most often in people who have diabetes, end-stage kidney disease or cystic fibrosis, are on a ventilator, have altered gastrointestinal anatomy and or motility, poor mastication, or an excessive intake of fiber. Overconsumption of unripened persimmons is known to cause bezoars, with up to 90% of cases requiring surgical removal. Bezoars can cause lack of appetite, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, and a feeling of fullness after eating only a little food. If you don't have one of the risk factors, you're not likely to develop a bezoar. If you are at risk, reducing your intake of foods with high amounts of indigestible cellulose may reduce your risk. The term bezoar is thought to be derived from the Arabic word badza or the Persian word panza, both of which mean counterpoison or antidote. Bezoars from animals were thought to have medicinal and magical properties, and they were considered antidotes to a variety of poisons and diseases. Swallowing or wearing bezoars as jewellery was common practice among the rich and powerful, who had every reason to suspect someone was going to try and poison them. Bezoars were introduced to Europe from the Middle East during the 11th century, and they were popular as medicinal remedies. However, their use started to fall out of favour by the 18th century. In 1567, famous surgeon Ambrose Paré tested the healing properties of a bezoar stone. A cook in the king's court had been caught stealing fine silver and was sentenced to death by hanging. As an alternative, the cook was granted the opportunity to receive a poison followed by a bezoar as a potential antidote, under the supervision of Paré. It was agreed that if the cook survived the poison, his life would be spared. The cook lived only seven hours, thus Paré concluded that the bezoar stone could not cure all poisons, contrary to popular belief at the time. Modern examinations of the properties of bezoars have shown that, when immersed in an arsenic-laced solution, can remove the poisonous elements. In 1603 in England, a purchaser sued a proprietor to get their money back after buying an allegedly fraudulent bezoar. The case of Chandler v. Lopus instigated the condition of caveat emptor, which in Latin means let the buyer beware, referring to goods purchased not being genuine and or effective. Coca-Cola has been shown to treat phytobezoars by administering 500 to 3,000 milliliters over 24 hours, either orally or by gastric lavage. A 2013 review of this procedure found that 91.3% of patients had a positive resolution, with 50% only needing a single treatment, while others required the treatment plus endoscopic removal. Only a handful of cases still required surgical removal. <laughs>